Hello guys, welcome to the third segment video of module 13, Momentum and Collision. So in this video, we will talk about goals of this module, basic theory, especially the equations used in this module 13 data processing. Then we will also talk about the data provided and how the data is processed. The goals of this experiment are number one, comparing the total momentum of the system before and after the collision. And the second one is comparing the total kinetic energy of the system before and after the collision. In this module 13, we will use two equations. There are momentum equation and the kinetic energy equation. Momentum is defined as the product of mass and velocity, or can be written P equals to M cross V, while kinetic energy can be calculated by equation half of MV square. Also, we will calculate the kinetic energy before and after collision. Because in this experiment, we will review a system of consisting of two cards, then the kinetic energy of the system is the sum of the kinetic energy of each card. Or you can write it half of M1 V1 square plus half of M2 V2 square. In addition, in the calculation of kinetic energy, it is, at, it is necessary for you to pay attention to the speed used in the calculation because there are two speed values for each train and speed before collision and the speed after the collision. Then you guys will be given raw data by your coordinators during the practicum. This raw data consists of the mass of the train or cart and the load used in this experiment. The raw data will also include the speed of each train before and after the collision for each experiment carried out. In writing and calculating velocity and momentum values, Please note the direction of motion and assumptions made. In this explanation, the assumption is that the motion to the right is positive and the motion to the left is negative. The first experiment is an elastic collision. The raw data will be rendered as can be seen on the screen. As you can see, before the collision, the first train moves to the right so that the speed is positive, while the second train is stationary. After the collision, the first train moves to the left, so that its speed is negative, while the second train moves to the right, so that its speed is positive. Then you are asked to calculate the value of momentum and kinetic energy using the formula described previously, or you can also see it in the table on the top right. Then filled in, filled in the blank table as shown on the screen. After calculating the momentum and kinetic energy of the system, you also need to calculate the value of the ratio by dividing the value of the momentum or kinetic energy after the collision by the momentum or kinetic energy before the collision. The results of your cal calculation will be roughly as shown on the current screen. Then the second experiment is a non-elastic collision. As you can see, before the collision, the first train moves to the right so that the speed is positive, while the second train is stationary. After the collision, the first train and the second train move together to the right so that their speed is positive. The raw data given and processing in experiment two is exactly the same as experiment one. 
you need to calculate the value of the momentum, the value of the kinetic energy of the system, and the value of ratio momentum and kinetic energy. The results of your calculations will be roughly as shown on the current screen. And the last experiment is explosion. In this experiment, you only need to calculate the value of the momentum, while the value of kinetic energy of the system does not need to be calculated. In addition, in experiment three, the ratio of momentum is not calculated, but you need to calculate percent diff using the formula Pearson system per half of Pearson one plus Pearson two cross 100%. As you can see, before the collision or explosion, the first train and the second train are stationary. After the collision or explosion, uh, the first train moves to the left so that its speed is negative, while the second train moves to the right so that its speed is positive. The results of your calculation will be rolled as shown on the current screen.